The Antonov 225 was a strategic airlift cargo aircraft designed in the 1980s by the Antonov Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. It was then refurbished and reintroduced into commercial operation with Antonov Airlines, carrying oversized payloads. The Maria attracted a high degree of public interest, attaining a global following due to its size and its uniqueness. People frequently visited airports to see its scheduled arrivals and departures. The Antonov 225 was designed to airlift the Energia rocket's boosters and the Buran-class orbiters for the Soviet space program. It was developed as a replacement for the Myasishev VMT. The Antona 225's original mission and objectives are almost identical to that of the United States show carrier aircraft. It could carry ultra-heavy and oversized freight, weighing up to 250,000 kilograms internally or 200,000 kilograms on the upper fuselage. Cargo on the upper fuselage can be 70 meters long. The Antonov 225 was destroyed in the Battle of Antonov Airport during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. The destruction of the world's largest commercial plane was one of the key images at the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The dream will never die, tweeted the manufacturers when it was destroyed. Now the manufacturer is committed. Now the manufacturer is committed to rebuilding the majestic aircraft. However, everything about this plane seems enormous, including the price of bringing it back to life. Now it looks like they have stayed true to their word, with the company announcing that plans to rebuild it are already underway. Its later life, while slightly less glamorous, was equally iconic. It was the world's largest cargo transporter, with around twice the hold capacity as a Boeing 747. Winning cult status among self-styled algeeks, it stretched to 84 meters, or 275 feet, with the longest wingspan of any fully operational airplane. While it had estimated repair costs, the company predicted a bill of over $502 million to get it back in the air, promising more information after the victory. Already the company has around 30% of the components needed to build a new one, it announced. The announcement coincides with the launch of an exhibition dedicated to the plane at Leipzig Hall Airport in Germany, which is home to five other Antonov aircraft.